Hello guys. Welcome to my channel. Today I am gonna talk about online food ordering system. Or you can say online restaurant management system. Kindly subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. So that you can get notified when a new video is uploaded to the channel. Like and share this video. The project is already published online for guys to better understand the real working of this project instead of creating a virtual environment in WAMP or ZAMP server. I have already shared a link with you in the description with all the necessary steps to follow along with my video, including enhanced ER diagram, normalized relational schema, SQL file, images, complete code. As I said, I have shared the SQL file. You can see my PHP my admin portal is open. In which I have used La Cuisine schema with this project. You have to click on import button and wait for a little to load completely. Then choose a file from other folder named as La Cuisine.sql. Choose a default setting scroll down and click on go. All the tables with data will be loaded to your local system. You can see there are 13 tables in this schema. You can also confirm your database file in my SQL console as well. You can use any virtual server software. I have written in the description. In this case, I have WAMP server. Click on my SQL. Then my SQL console. Put username. Password. And then show your databases. Now select database and show tables. As you can see all the 13 tables are there now. Now move towards code section. Code is well maintained, commented and all the sections are separated with comments. Let's close the tabs first and let me show you how I manage my code section. The number of files you can see in the main folder is for end user management. Admin related files, images, and code section are completely separate from the user side in a subfolder named as admin. While the user or customer side have its own images, CSS files and JavaScript folder respectively. Now let's open index.php file for user side. As you can see code is well maintained, commented, and indented. All the sections are separated from one another with a separator. Name of containers, classes and ID are self-explanatory. You can always change the colors, images, font styles, text styles and obviously the text and heading, subheadings, paragraphs, and menu sections. It's up to you and your creativity how you can modify and use your programming and web development skills. The primary font style is Mr. Daffo which looks good to me. But you can change according to your interest in the header section. Now move towards the CSS section and open main.css file. As you can see the CSS file is also maintained with indented and self-explanatory code with section separators just like an in index.php. As you see header section is separate from La Cuisine header animations and so on. Same is the case with all the sections of CSS file and index file down to end of code. Now, look at the JavaScript file all the section are commented. Like the ripple effect of the header section. Toggle button section. Sticky navigation bar. Smooth scroll and back to top button.
now have a look of website already published online. Write lacuisine.apazi.com in your browser. The beautiful ripple effect in the header section and header section text animation. Elegant button design. And animated button beneath the order now button. Move towards the second section with beautiful hovering effects of logo, menu section, order now, and login or sign up button. First section is about the gallery of beautiful food items in a restaurant with an eye catchy hovering effect. When you click on the image, it enlarges in size by which you can move forward and backwards to view all images. Move forward and click on the special items section. It moves smoothly towards that section within 2 seconds. I set the time in JavaScript file in milliseconds. You can also add prices to each item as well. Click on about section and look at the beautiful design of button and images. Hovering animations makes it more attractive. Now let's check out the review section of my website. Which is automatically moving after 6 seconds. But you can also move forward and backwards with the help of arrow buttons to see all the reviews. In a team section, it's me, Muhammad Asif Ayyub. And my group fellow Asadullah Khan. At the end of this section, I have added again the social media section with beautiful hovering effect. The last section of my website has a map and contact list or subscription form. The map can be zoomed in and out. Of course, you can add your location as well. When a user fills this form his or her data will be stored in a database. At the end, we have again social media icons with a ripple effect. By pressing move to top button, it will bring you to the header section. Now click on food items section a new window will open with three different restaurant categories options. Click on one of the categories. Its menu will appear in a new window with a eye-catchy header and restaurant image on top of it. Also, each restaurant has minimum billing criteria and delivery time with the customer's rating. Look at the total price it is zero. Now select some food item from the list with any number of dishes. Select one bonefish into Uno Pizzeria and Grill. Now choose another restaurant for more food items. Again a beautiful header with a restaurant image on top it appears with minimum billing and delivery time. Now select two chicken spring rolls and click on add to cart button the page will reload and your items are added. If you press on the checkout button it will bring you to login page. If you are not logged in already, now enter your credentials to proceed to checkout. Register for a new account and put your information. All the boxes are mandatory. And then click on register.
you have successfully created an account. Wait 5 seconds it will bring you automatically to login page. Put the credentials in the login page. After successful logging into your account, my orders button will appear on top of the page. Click on checkout button. Click on order now. A pop-up window will appear click OK. Now click on my orders. Your orders will appear. Now to change the status of the order and admin will update the status only. Put lacuisine.apazi.com slash admin in the URL. Admin panel will open. In the username section put admin. In the password section put 123. The admin dashboard is self-explanatory. Explore it yourself.